finding scale in reference to one piece of geometry. In the last video, we covered how to export into Unity. It was a box. That's it, a box. Uh, the, the figure for the exercise is to find out what file format you have to have that box in. In this case, we, had, we learned FBX was the actual um, file format. Now we have to look at the next step. The next step is scale, okay? So, it, this is what I want to do. In Maya, I want to be able to do, quickly go into New Scene. I want to be able to go in here and say, well, Preferences. Um, I want to have the settings to meters because that is what the exporter is exporting as. And I'm pretty sure that's what the engine is running on. And I want to be able to see my grid and make one simple box and hit F and there it is. So now what I want is a one to one to one ratio and be able to model with one to one to one. If you look at this box, if I, if I quickly export it and I export it over just like I did in the last video, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I go to unity, I go to demo Island assets and a lot of navigation on this engine objects and then box two, let's say box three because this is a straight right out of the engine box and I'm working with a scale factor of one here. There we go. So where's my first person camera here? Where's that new box here? Import that box. How small is it? We'll look it over here at scale. It's actually point zero one. So I want to definitely make sure that's a one to one to one ratio. Okay. And there it is. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish. I want to be able to export and have it already like this. All right. So that means it's probably the exporter itself that is having some kind of issue. Uh, so file or export selection. Let's see what the the exporter is. Export. If you look up here, it says FBX exporter 2006. Holy crap, that's like way old, okay? So let's check for web updates. And it's saying something about Visit Autodesk FBX. Okay, fine. All right, so now, wow, there it is. Download plugins for FBX and we look here. There, sure enough, is the Maya plugin for Maya 2008, and it's 2010. That's so much better. I think we should build upon newer technology rather than rely on very old technology. Now, that philosophy will get you in trouble a lot, too. So, Because think about newer technology and how often I use newer technology corresponding to somebody that does not believe in that philosophy. In fact, they'll go in and use like ancient freaking technology. All right. So there we go. My, I, my FBX is now updated. So what I'm going to do is go file new scene. Don't save. In fact, I should quit Maya and open it back up to make sure the engine The FBX engine is installed correctly. Okay, again, very quickly, I want to switch over to meters. There's my box. 
And now when I go to export selection on the box, I'm going to find out some other significant things that I didn't see before because I actually upgraded. So if something doesn't make sense, maybe you're just running old stuff. box four all right so in the advanced options I got units and sure enough here we go scale factor of one is in meters okay now I can do some math here and say well if it was centimeters it would be 100 of that now remember um, that's me using common deduction here and saying this is this started out as 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 times 100 equals 1. Okay. So let's try that philosophy. Okay. Here's box 4. What happens with box 4? Box 4 is perfect. All right, so that is how to figure out scale within an engine. So now I got scale corresponding to one box, a one-to-one -one ratio back in Maya. And if I look at this box, we will get one, 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 one. That's the one I imported. Now, what's the next step? Next step is the next video.